Hello everyone, today we are with another Bible story. This story is not in the kids' Bible. I'm not sure it is, but it's not in the kids' Bible, so we're just reading it from the normal Bible. This story is called Samson and Delilah. This was in the Old Testament of Judges 16. So this story was from the Judges 6, 16, chapter 16, verse 4 to 5. So here's the story, Samson and Delilah. After this, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah. She lived in the valley of Sorek. The kings of the Philistines went to Delilah. They said, try to find out what makes Samson so strong. Try to trick him into telling you, find out how we could capture him and tie him up. Then we will be and we will be able to control him. If if you do this, each one of us will give you thir 13 kilograms of silver. Wow, that's a lot, Which isn't is it? a lot. Okay. But silver is not really valuable anymore in London. No. But, not, but th those times, that was really very expensive. Yeah? Okay? Yeah, so that's just the end. So, for the narrating and what the story is about, so, for example, I'm just going to start with, uh, I'm just going to start as um, Samson being born. So, uh, then once upon a time in, in Sarek, I think, and then there was someone called Samson. He was very strong and almighty because Joanna, um, his mum, God promised him that he was going to be almighty and and then it was true. Then after Jonah went through the little neighborhood, well not little, but okay, and then he met a really beautiful lady and then said, Oh, you look very beautiful and then he ran away again or like he offered him if to be our girlfriend then he went to his parents and then they said and then god um, <clears throat> samson said i i have a girlfriend i have a girlfriend and she's from the Palestine. and then the parents are really upset and then his father said why would you marry a person from the Philistine? Is there something wrong about you? Just because they're from the Philistine doesn't mean they're bad. Then then they then his parents set up a marriage for them to get married. But then and after a long time the 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 girl didn't come. So Samson decided to shut down the marriage and then after he was walking down the neighborhood again. Then he saw another lovely lady, which was called Delilah. Then the Samson said again, well, and then he offered the same thing. You look so beautiful. Will you be my girlfriend? And then he said yes. And then Samson ran away or like just rushed off. And then the two Philistine people were asking, are you the girl boyfriend of the strong almighty Samson? And then Delilah said, yes. And then the two Philistine boys said, I have a favor. And then Delilah said, what is it? Can you tell me what is the secret of Samson being a very strong almighty person? The two Philistine people were wanting to find out how and asked Delilah how he was a very strong almighty Samson. And, and then Delilah said, I don't know. But instead she said, I will run off to um, Samson and tell him how he, strong he is. So the next following day, Delilah came to Samson when he was in a good mood. And then Delilah said, how are you a very strong almighty person said delilah and then asked delilah yeah. and then samson said it's because of my very long hair 
and then after Delilah went back to the two Philistine boys and then he told that because of his long hair and then in the night time while Samson was sleeping the two Philistine boys crept to him and then he cut his hair off and and then in the next morning he realized he wasn't that strong at all and also he was blind and then the two boy the two Philistine boys placed um Samson into prison and then they told him to grind hay and then also Samson was not fast enough because his hair was cut off and as soon in the jail Jonah was praying for him to become more stronger again for his um hair to grow again and for him to become unblind Oh, very sorry. It's not Jonah. It's Samson. Sometimes I could just get really similar taste to the names. And then the next following day, the guards let Jonah out because they were going to test how stronger he is. And the Philistine people were celebrating a festival or a feast with um, Samson. And then they were going to test how strong he was. And then the two guards led him there to a stand with two pillars and then he was praying as well when if the philistine army dies i will die too and then also after he was he 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 used his two hands and he felt the two pillars beside him and as soon as he pushed it it cracked down and then most of the philistine army people have died and then Samson also died as well. And then after, Samson's family came and then they were gathering like a little funeral. Okay, so tell me, what have you learned from the story about Samson and Delilah or what is your so reflection? So my reflection or what it teached me, whenever we test somebody and when and whenever we should trust somebody and they betray us the second time we should all know that we should not listen to them because they might betray us again and you don't want your life like being bad happening because you would want a happy life and then also i also learned that you should as i said in the start you should not test other people because sometimes they might take over you but as soon as you pray god will always help you then also forgot to mention this story is like trusting and betrayal because delilah betrayed samson because they were because the two philistine boys tempted them because they wanted to know how he was stronger because if they taught if they tell him how strong he was and how he was strong then they were gonna both of them were going to give them thirteen thousand kilograms of silver which was very royal in the olden times or like when and the when jesus was not born yet and also this story was in the old testament so before this video ends, I'm going to go to sleep very soon. First of all, please like if you enjoyed the story of Samson and Delilah. Second of all, comment what of your reflections are. Make sure to share this to the word of the Lord and the Bible. And make sure to subscribe to support us. Thank you everyone. Hopefully you will do though. And good night. Night night. <laughs> sleep well. <sighs> Good night. Good night. So cozy in my blanket. Good night, night, night.